CHR small crossover into its mainstream lineup. Of course, the CHR was always planned to sell as a Toyota in other markets, such as Europe, where that market's production version was shown in Geneva early this year. Look, just because the lifted coupe thing hasn't been cool to us since Eagle was an American Motors brand doesn't mean that other folks don't find it impossibly hip. Just ask the Germans. If the Japanese want to ape some of that perceived Teutonic snap, who are we to discourage them from making a vehicle with a name that stands for Coupe High Rider? As befits the modern definition of Coupe so handily revised by, you guessed it, the Germans, the CHR features four doors with a sloping roofline and hatch. It rides on Toyota's new global architecture, TNGA, which also underpins the current Prius, it carries a 144 horsepower 2.0 liter naturally aspirated 4 banger up front, routing its 140 pounds to foot of torque through a continuously variable automatic with a manual shift mode that simulates 7 forward gears. Engaging sport mode snugs up those shifts and adds heft to the electrically assisted power steering. As of now, the CHR is front-wheel drive only, there's no AWD option. While Toyota goes to great lengths to brag that TNGA was tuned at the Nürburgring, any legitimate sportiness is second to style, utility, and amenities in this segment. To that end, the CHR's dash features a 7.0-inch multimedia screen and a 4.2-inch multi-function display between the gauges, and on XLE models, there's a leather-wrapped steering wheel, power folding unheated exterior mirrors, an auto-dimming interior mirror, and dual-zone climate control. The XLE Premium adds blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, heated front seats, a power driver's seat, and puddle lamps that project Toyota CHR onto the ground. Fog lamps and keyless start are also part of the XLE Premium package, while both trim levels get AM-FM-HD radio, Harman Zahop, a USB port and a node jack, Bluetooth, voice recognition, and a 60-40 split folding rear seat. Style, however, is the CHR's real calling card. Whatever one thinks of the new little decoupe, it certainly has been styled by people concerned with adding styling to it. According to Toyota, the mission brief was a mere two words, distinctive diamond. Whatever the directions handed to the styling people, the result looks like the Incredible Hulk about to bulge his way out of his shirt. With 18-inch wheels. And some cybernetic stuff. Bulging Borg Hulk. But small scale. And, lest you forget, a coupe. Small Borg Hulk Coupe. SBHC isn't a lamer name than CHR, is it? We suppose the trademark stuff would get complicated, potentially as complicated as the CHR's aesthetics. Toyota does point out that the rear wing is functional. All grades of CHR are equipped with a forward collision warning system with pedestrian detection and automated emergency braking, lane departure warning with steering assist, automatic high beams, and adaptive cruise control. Inside, there's a complement of 10 standard airbags, while a rear-view camera surveys the surroundings behind you. Toyota has yet to announce pricing. But we expect the CHR will be competitive with Kia's Soul and the Nissan Juke, its primary competitors in the Funkzajutical segment. We admit, if you'd asked us 20 years ago, we wouldn't have pegged Funkzajutical as a viable market niche, but here's Behemoth Toyota, dropping a distinctive diamond right into the middle of it. Maybe they'll do one up in Evangeliant livery.